I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. This is the Welltool T1 ProTac EDC flashlight, also known as the Little Duke. If you're interested in hearing more about this little light, keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank Flashlight to go for sending out the Welltool T1 so that I could share it with you. What we'll do is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over this light's key features, its physical and performance specifications, as well as its modes of operation. Then we'll get outside and do some demonstrations. Before we focus in closer on the light itself, let me share with you what it came with. This is the box the light arrived in. Inside of the box was this manual with warranty information a single spare o-ring as well there is a removable pocket clip on the side of the light and inside of the light is a 900 milliamp hour 14500 lithium ion rechargeable battery and it does have onboard USB type C charging. I've noticed that there was no cable included with this light. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. All right, let's get into the uh, key features for this light and uh, then we'll get on to its physical specifications. So the probably the thing that stands out most and what I think most viewers will be appreciated of is the fact that while it does come uh, with a 14500 lithium ion battery, it can use a double-A battery just as well. It does have a tail cap switch. That is preferable in many cases because it makes it easy to find. There's no guessing where it is. This one is nice in that it does stand out quite far, but it is not all that easy to turn on. So you're unlikely to turn it on accidentally. It takes a fair amount of pushing. Mind you, it does prevent you from tail cap standing it, of course. It can be attached directly to a ball, uh, ball cap. And here's what I like about it. While the pocket clip is mounted like this, it does have a fairly deep carry, but still just enough to grab it to get it out of your pocket in a very pocketable little flashlight. But you can take the light off and there is another groove built into the body that allows you, or not the light, the pocket clip, allows you to replace that pocket clip. And now you can put this on the brim of any stiff cap, like a ball cap, and use it as a headlamp. That is a quite a unique feature. Now, I'm not sure why they've done this, but each light does come with its own individualized serial number. Kind of a different thing on small lights. Let's get into the physical specifications for this light. So the light with the battery installed is two 2.3 ounces or 64 grams. Overall length is 3.82 inches, 97 millimeters. Diameter at its wide is 0.79 inches or 20 millimeters. It has a waterproof rating of IP67 and an impact rating of one meter. All right, before we get into the operation of the Welltool T1, let me give you the performance specifications. So I will be giving you them both for the 14500 lithium ion rechargeable battery as well as a double a alkaline battery so to start with as far as modes go there's only two a high and a low so with the 14500 you get a high lumen setting of 540 lumens it'll cast a beam distance of approximately 317 yards and the runtime will be 38 minutes now on low It'll have a lumen setting of 86 lumens with a distance or beam cast of approximately 110 yards, but will last a full eight hours, 42 minutes. Now, if you take that battery out and put in the AA battery, you'll get a high lumen setting of 160 with a beam cast of 166 yards and a runtime of 39 minutes. On low with the AA battery, three lumens, 26 yards beam cast and 92 hours of runtime time. All right, just before we get into the operation of the light, let's just take a few close-ups of it. You know, very, actually a very nicely designed light with nice looking knurling all the way around the outside. You can see the pocket clip here, quite a deep pocket clip, very stiff. The second area where you can reverse the pocket clip on this. The basal, deep and polished, or the reflector is deep and polished. That means it is a casting light, something kind of unique for a small light like this. And the tail cap switch, as I mentioned, quite pronounced, but not 
real easy to push on, meaning you're not going to turn it on accidentally. Now, as far as operating goes, everything happens from the tail cap switch, and you can do it both a partial press to turn it on temporarily or momentarily, and a full press to lock it on. It will always default to the high lumen setting, so even with a partial press, it'll go to the high lumen settings, even if you lock it on, it'll go to the high lumen settings. That's the easy use of it, the easy operation. Now, here's the part that I find just a little bit confusing is why Welltool did it this way. In order to get the low setting, you have to partial press the on off the tail cap switch three times. And the fourth time you press it, it will go to low. Uh, it's hit or miss, honestly, for me. I don't know if it's the speed at which I press it, the depth at which I press it, or what. So let's see if I can get it to happen to go to low. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. No, see, I can't get it to. Yep, I just can't do it most of the time. One, let's try it again. One, two, three. And there, that time I was able to get it to go to low. So it's one, two, three, and the fourth time you partially press it, then you're in the low mode and you want to lock it down if you want to keep it in low mode. A little different, right? Uh, it should be simple, but in, op in actual use, it's more than a little bit challenging. Okay, that's everything I wanted to show you about the flashlight itself. Let's get outside and do a few demonstrations with it. All right, we're doing some nighttime testing for the Welltool T1 Pro. I'm in my backyard, and as I mentioned, shifting this between low and high is quite a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to give you the high lumen setting here. And as you can see, it's quite a capable small handheld light. It's like having a searchlight in your pocket. I can reach through my backyard to the neighbors and well beyond. Nice central hotspot and a good amount of flood on either side. All right, let's close this video out with a few more comments for the Welltool T1 ProTac EDC flashlight, otherwise known as Little Duke. So what do I really like about this light? Well, to start with, it is the versatility that I can change out the included 14500 lithium ion battery and replace it with a AA alkaline battery if I desire to do so. That is probably the number one key selling point for it. I like the long distance beam cast that this had. Very narrow, very focused, reaching out a long ways for such a small light. I like the fact that I can replace the pocket clip so that I can mount it on a hat and use it as a headlamp. I think that's a great little feature for this light. I like the tail cap switch in that I can partial press it for momentary on and off or I can lock it down in the high mode. What I don't like is the mode or the means of getting it into low. Three partial presses holding it down on the fourth to get it into low mode. I think it's just overly complicated. And as you saw, I have trouble being consistent with that in application. So I think there's a bit of a miss on the operation getting it into low mode. I'd like Welltool to improve that somehow. I'm not sure how, I'll leave it up to them and their engineers. But until then, I don't know that I can recommend this for most people, unless of course, you don't mind using it in high mode all the time. And in fact, I don't. I like to use it in high mode. The only thing is it run down it'll run down the battery a little faster than it would in low mode. Okay, those are my thoughts on this, like my experience, but I open this up to you. Do you have any comments or questions about this flashlight? If so, please put them in the comments section below. I'll put the link to where you can take another look at this light, as well as all the information I provided you around specifications in the video description below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.